feel to get back out there? Um, it feels good. I mean, I've been, I mean, we ain't in the season like we wanted to, and it's just a chance to get back out there and actually do some football stuff instead of conditioning. I mean, it was it was a good first day. But you could do some hitting now? Yeah, we, I do wish we had some pads on. It's kind of hard to, you know, not play play football without pads, but I mean, that's, I mean, that's how it's got to go. So. Do you feel like the, the guy out there today and kind of leading all the other guys? I mean, I'm, I'm just blessed to have a lot of experience. I mean, I, don't, I, I played for, for a while, so. I mean, I'm just trying to help out when I, where I can. So. Coach said something about that you'd be the signal caller this year on defense. Do you? Does that take extra study, or is that something you've been around long enough you've got to have? Um, I mean, I've, I've been around long enough to where I, I mean I can I can handle it. I mean, me playing with CJ last year. I mean, we both we took took the role and kind of split it. I mean, he he did he did the majority of it, but I mean, when I'm, sometimes you got to. I mean, I got to help him out. It was. Teams with fastball and stuff, so he, he can't get it all communicated. So I kind of help there too. So I mean, that, that's been a big discussion this offseason. We haven't really talked to players about it. What do you what do you think about that whole the fast pace offense? Um, I mean, it don't really, I mean it don't really bother me. I mean, it's just something that you got to prepare a little bit harder for. That's that's really it. Saban said he, he liked the team's attitude and offseason workouts and things like that. What did you see from the players since the Sugar Bowl? Um, Guys are just a lot more hungry. I mean, we didn't, like I said, we didn't finish the season like we wanted to. And I mean, I think it's just that guys knew that and they just took the, took a different approach to it and try, trying to get back to the standard of how we do stuff. I know going into the last season, you dropped some weight and everything like that. Do you have like any goals physically going into this season and everything like that? Uh, not, no, not, not, not really. What do you see from the guys around you, the Rubens, Reggies, the people who are competing for, for CJ spot? Um, I mean, everybody's just, like you said, they're just competing. I mean, everybody's working hard at it. I mean, I, it's just the first day, so I mean, I can't really, I can't really say too much about it. But I mean, everybody looks good. So, it's a little different going out there and not being with with Kirby on those first couple periods. Uh, a little bit, I mean, but it ain't no big deal. I mean, we, I'm, I'm with him every, I mean, every other period, so it don't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel kind of weird knowing it's your last year? Uh. A little bit, it's bittersweet, I guess. I don't know. This ain't no big deal, though. I mean, gotta gotta graduate sometime, I guess. So. <laughs> Anything else for Trey? What was you, what was your first spring like? That you, you know, how, how amped were you? You know, do you remember uh, feeling lost? Oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. I ain't, I ain't know nothing. I was lost, running around. Didn't really know much. Trying to learn as much as I could from Dante. That's who I really. Um, try to learn from because I mean he can coach Mark can only do so much but I mean yeah I was lost. That's so does it feel like a long time ago or no? Nah not really not at all. Did you see any of that from Sean Dion Hamilton today What's out that? there? Did you see any of that from from Sean Dion going through his first practice? Well, I mean that's I mean that's everybody who comes through here I mean you're not going it's going to be a rough I mean a rough spring period I mean because you I mean it's, it's just hard to learn I mean we learn different stuff every day so I mean it's kind of rough to pick it up just like that, but I mean, he I mean, he did good for his first day though. How was Coach Steele out there today? He was cool. I like Coach Steele, he's I mean, he's a good coach. He's been around. He's been a lot of places, so I mean, he he knows what he's talking about. So he just try to pass that knowledge on to us. When it's going rough for those young guys, and maybe the coaches are getting on them a little bit, what do you say to them? How do you kind of keep their heads in it? I mean, just to I mean, not really, don't don't really worry about him yelling at you. Just I mean, try to take the the um the critique the critiquing out of it, you know what I'm saying? Like try to just get better from what he's telling you. I mean don't necessarily worry about him yelling at you. I mean just, just keep a level head about it. How <coughs> confident are you guys, not just with C placing C J but every year y'all lose some stars, some all Americans first rounders, and then you have five star prospects and other guys kinda of filling in. How much confidence do y'all have when in the placements every year, kinda of on an annual basis? I mean, we, I mean, we're pretty confident about it just because I mean, the coaches they they know how to develop players, and that, I mean that's what they did to everybody who became a star. So I mean, everybody's got to develop. So we're pretty confident about it. How do you feel like you developed? Two more since freshman year. Uh, I, I came I came a long way from my freshman year. Anything else? Thanks, Trey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.